Man, I gotta say, I really love Dragon Ball Fighters, but uh, man, can it just be harsh sometimes. So what we are about to watch is some of my highs, I'll say, because I actually did lose this set, but since I know how the YouTube algorithm works, I know that you guys will most likely not even stay for the next match. So I decided to show my win rather than my loss in the first part of the video. Um, you can see my loss afterward. But this guy was pretty good at the game. I believe I joined into rank for the first time in forever. Don't know why, I just decided to see what the atmosphere was like. And of course I was immediately met with a bunch of Android 21s. And yeah, we can see how that turned out. But this guy's playing Gogeta Blue 21 and Z Broly. Very, very tough team to play against. Um, and he beat the dog crap out of me in the first fight. And you guys will see that after this one. Um, but he beat the living dog crap out of me. Um, and in this fight, I just decided to turn up a little bit. Every now and then, I get back to where I was. Like, I can feel my prime come out of me once again. But it's only every now and then. Sometimes I will, you know, play bad. And then, of course, after playing bad, uh, I'm like, you know what, I got to turn up real quick. And then, of course, I'll play bad again right after. So if that says anything, I completely lost this set. But to me, the only fight that matters is this one that I won because it showcased me in a different light um, compared to how I normally play these days. Um, and that, that being... I can't speak, but <laughs> yeah, so my Gogeta was doing work, my Bardock UI, and he just could not handle me, right? Um, right there, I tried to 2H him. I don't know why I thought he would super dash, um, because most players do online. Here, I just tried to mash out the corner. I fi figured my button would beat Broly's button, but it did not, and I immediately lost Gogeta Super Saiyan 4. Um, uh, a lot of this match was me mashing simply because this guy... Uh, he would Dragon Rush me a lot in the first game, um, so I was just trying to mash out of everything he did. He would grab, he would just do a bunch of things that, to me, it like it warranted me mashing. So um, here we get a knockdown with Z Broly. Tried to go for a double overhead. He sparks immediately. Um, there I just couldn't get the confirm quite because um, because Broly's armor. Here he tried to grab me. I jumped it only got one hit and then of course just completely died for getting the right read um wrong extension here he tries to basically bait um the 2h by vanishing early um but he still gets caught by the 2h which is which is great and then he does it again and that time i was completely ready because the first time i wasn't necessarily ready i did think the vanish would somehow beat me but this allows me to get you know two bars and the kill and just like that i completely won the match um but it wasn't as easy as i remembered looking back at it but i do know that this guy was pretty good at the game um because the way he beats me in the first game which you will see is kind of devastating i just love watching back my matches as well because it just showcases obviously what you've done wrong and what you can do right um it's hard for me to implement it, I can say that much, but for the most part, I understand, right? Um, but this guy, you know, he like I said, he's running Broly um, 21, and then of course he just completely mashed right there. Um, I was trying to kind of bait out a reflect or something like that, but he just completely mashed. Um, and then of course he just ran, he just, he just ran it on me after this point because he gets 21 out and immediately gets the debuff on Bardock. And then after that, you know, <laughs> like I don't have that much experience against 21. So blocking was damn near not an option here for me. <laughs> and of course, I immediately lose Bardock. And it, it's sad, but um, it is what it is. Um, after this, though, we get Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta out here. And he's back in the lead with uh, Blue Gogeta. And I don't know why I wasn't punishing his full screen. Um, Man, that sucks. He got me with the overhead. He does that like two times and he gets me with it like every time because I just I think he's going to go low and he just does not. But um, I should have been punishing his full screen beam way more. That is a very punishable move when Gogeta throws it out. Um, and there, you know, I think that was just nerves. Like I just I did 2H um, thinking I was getting 6H 
and completely dropped the combo, which would have done a lot of damage to him. It wouldn't have killed or anything, but the fact that, you know, I did it hurt. And, oh, wow, he doesn't get the kill here. I forget he dropped this. Um, we get some blocks off, and then, of course, you know, you got to bust out sometimes. I immediately um, go for the ultimate level three. He tries to EX Larry me, and again, like, he does the beam, and I could have easily punished him. Even though he did have bar, he could vanish, but I could have easily probably punished him. Um, and now all we have left is UI Goku. I do a beam, do a vanish because I thought I confirmed on Gogeta, where in actuality I actually confirmed on Broly. Um, and then, of course, he clearly almost punishes my counter attempt. Um, and then here I spark. Gotta get the bar, right? Drop the combo. <laughs> it's like. Man, got lucky with this vanish instead. So now we have just 21 and Z Broly left. And I don't really remember what happens here, but I do know I'm like, all right, I just have to block. And there he had immense patience. Me, again, not knowing 21's matchup ends up causing me to completely get hit there by all of her lows. I know all you should do is block low, but she does kind of have an overhead threat and like... You know, I, I feel like for most people, once you once you block a low like twice, you're like, all right, they're going to six him or something. Right. And so I feel like that's what most people do. And I'm no exception to that. Um, here he gets a perfect read, jumps up and misses the grab there. Once again, me not knowing her block strings gets hit by all the lows thinking he, she's going to do six H and I just completely lose. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed that basically rank, ranked match analysis, let me know down in the comment section below. It's funny, I did a, uh, a poll on my YouTube asking if you guys liked post commentary or live commentary, and you guys just decide to get 50-50, so I decided to do some post commentary this time around. So yeah, check out the next video if you please. Peace.